Hi guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Janelle Veronica and I post makeup videos twice a week on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. So if you absolutely love your makeup, make sure that you subscribe and join the family here in Makeup Land. I'm starting today's video. I normally intro my video with my makeup complete but I'm fresh faced today. I want to look like beat face Barbara today. I want a face beat. I want full coverage, a little bit of glam, sparkle on the eyes. I'm not sure what lip I'm gonna go for, but I know I want to be beat. All right, so that's the aim for today. So I'm just gonna jump right into the makeup, get started and pull a look off. Now for my primer today, I'm gonna to go in with my Milk Primer. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, the famous Hydro Grip. I'm sure everybody's familiar with this. If you're not, it's a gripping primer. It gets tacky on the skin and that's what holds on to the makeup. But I'm sure you already know that. I know most people already know and love the Hydro Grip Primer. Now that that's on and nice and tacky, I'm gonna move on to my foundation. For my foundation, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. The shade that I use in this is 220 Dakar. All right, let me just go in and blend that. Blend that out. All right guys, all blended out and this is what the foundation looks like on its own. Not set with any powder at all just blend it out. So we have a blank canvas. So it's time to do some highlighting and contouring. For my highlight, my concealer today, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. And I'm going to go in with the shade 415 Honey. I want a slightly brighter highlight today. Normally I go in with 420 Cocoa, I think it is. But I'm going to go in with 415 honey today. Why does it want to come out? All right, let me go in with my black opal foundation stick in ebony brown and contour while I let the concealer dry down a little bit before I blend it out. I have this, what is it called? It's the I Am Blushing 2-in-1 Cheek and Lip, Lip Paint from Palladio. And it's a cream blush. The shade is called Sweetheart. I think this is so pretty. So I'm just gonna use that. Is it gonna be pink enough, be dark enough? Let me go in with a brush. All right, that's cute. You have to build it up. I pop, I, this was the brightest and the darkest shade they had in it at my store that I went to but I'm going to try to see if I get something a little bit more vibrant that's going to show up on my complexion 
but I like the way how it blended, how it blended out. It was easy to blend out. Now I'm gonna go in with my Cala sponge and blend the concealer. This L'Oreal concealer is full coverage. It's affordable. It sets down nicely, blends out beautifully. So good. Concealer just on the inner part. All right, nice. I'm going to contour my contour my nose so I'm going to go back to the same black opal stick foundation in ebony brown all right nice face is looking nice and juicy it's time to go in with our powders and set this bad boy down to set my concealer down, I'm going to go in with my Fenty. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. The shade that I use is Honey. I love Honey. It's such a beautiful shade. All right, and as you can see, that is the, what the shade looks like. It's called Honey for a reason. It's a nice golden shade, but not too, too, too golden and yellow. I'm gonna do a little bit of bacon. I'm gonna go in now with my Fenty, the Fenty Soft Matte Powder Foundation. And I'm gonna set my face. The shade that I use is 450. All right, so this is the Palladio, Palladio Matte Bronzer in the shade Teeny Bikini. So I'm gonna bronze. And this is the Ashley Lee P04 brush. I love this brush because of the angle it's shaped for bronzing the face. I'm also going to use that bronzer to set the contour on my nose. You know, always make sure that you set down your cream and your liquids. Unless you have dry skin because I, you know what? I realize the girlies and the guys aren't really setting their makeup with powder. I'm seeing people with concealer on that has not been set with powder and I'm like, isn't that going to crease? I wish I could do it, but I can't. Mine would crease. I would look like a hot, greasy mess. 
by the end of the day so I always need to go in and set but if it works for you and you have really dry skin keep doing you boo I'm gonna go in and set down the bridge of my nose where I highlighted with the Fenty powder All right guys, so I did my brows. You know the deal, I always do my brows off camera because I always think nobody cares about brows. There are so many brow tutorials on YouTube. For my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place, the Magic Mini Eyeshadow Palette. All right, so this, this is what the palette looks like. This green in the palette, I have to find some way to use that green. I don't want green all over the lid, but I'm gonna find a way to incorporate it into today's eye look. You know, I am gonna find a way. So I'm gonna start by laying down a crease shade. I'm gonna go in with Zakaya, which is this shade right there in the palette. And this is my Morphe M434 brush that I am going in with. And I'm still baking. So excuse the excess powder under the eyes. All right, so I let how that looks, nice and subtle. I'm gonna go in with a shimmer on the lid. This gold called Boronu. This one, can you see? Yeah, right there, that shade. I'm gonna put that on my lid. So I'm going to go where there's a certain brush. Okay, there it is. Just a small flat angled brush. And I'm gonna go in with the green and just trace it on the inside of the lid, on the inside of my eye, just to give that inner corner a pop. So I'm gonna go in with the green. It's called Buzo and it is so beautiful. Is it showing up? Can you see it? I can see it. Are we even? All right, looks, looks about, looks about even. Cute, cute. I'm just gonna go back in with the crease. 
appreciate I'm also going to smoke that crease shade called Zakaya along my lower lash line. Do we like? Do we like? Let me just sweep away the bag. All right guys, so during intermission, I put my lashes on. For lashes today, I picked up this 10 pack, 10 pairs of lashes. These are what the lashes look like. They look a little bit intimidating and I thought I wasn't gonna like them, but I actually like how they look. Unfortunately, I don't know the brand name. I picked them up from a makeup store and I'm, I'm assuming they probably got them off of Amazon. That's where the stores normally get their lashes from, from Amazon. So unfortunately, I won't be able to link them. But if I find a style that's similar to them, I will link them in the description box. I'm gonna put some blush on now. And I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Colorful Blush in the shade Fascinated. All right. This is what it looks like. What I like about this blush is that you can take your time and build it up. Let me just smooth my under eyes. You know, my final set for under my eyes, going in with the Morphe M554 tapered brush. I'm just gonna dip into some of the Fenty powder, just a little bit, tap the excess off, and go in and press, as I said, I want a bright under eye today. This is bright for me. I'm gonna set with the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. For my lip liner, I'm going to use a Nikkei New York lip liner. The color is coffee and it's a brown, a nice dark brown. And it's very affordable as well. For lipstick, I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place lipstick. I think it's from the Nubian Earth collection. I'll have to double check, but the shade is called Nile. And I'm just gonna top that with a clear gloss. All right guys, and that is the makeup look all complete. As I said, I wanted my face to be beat today. I wanted full coverage and we have full coverage. We know that the Juvia's Place Foundation is a full coverage foundation. So I absolutely love that. The L'Oreal concealer that we use today, I use this so often because as I said, it's really good, it's full coverage dries down to a matte finish not a drying or cakey matte but just a comfortable matte and it's very affordable all right and i pretty much like all the products that we use today the lip is cute the eyeshadow look is cute the lashes as i said i'll try to find a similar pair of lashes and link them in the description box 
along with all of the other makeup that I used within this video. So I hope my video was relaxing. My videos are meant to be relaxing, meant to be chill, chill vibes all the time. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for yet another video. Again, if you are new here or if you've been enjoying the videos and you are not subscribed, please do subscribe and also give the video a thumbs up while you are at it. I would really, really, really appreciate it. So thank you. So until next time, I want you to have a fabulous week. Be fantastic wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.